Zach, hi. This is Jim Delapine, and I want to get, do some, uh, give you some video help with this. So what you have here is the wrong size. Okay, I realize it right away, but it's not just a matter of resizing it. It's, it's a matter of quality of your file. It's been de degraded. Okay, so if we go to image, image size, remembering that it has to be 8 inches wide, 10 inches high by 300 pixels per inch. You have uh, the opposite. You have a horizontal and it's at 72 pixels per inch, which is not good. So a 72 pixel per inch file is a low quality file. That's the size of images you'll usually get from the web. And they have to be low resolution so that this full so file size is so that they upload quicker. All right, when something's printed, it's, it gets printed at high resolution, which is 300 pixels per inch, which retains quality. So you can see the quality of the images totally are totally degraded. So this is not good. So you may have to, uh, I hate to say this, but you may have to start over because you cannot get these, this quality back once it's degraded like this. So it's because, I don't know what, what you did, but uh, it ruined the image. I think what happened was this image here, you, you opened and then brought images into it. Well, no, actually, no, probably not. I don't know what you did. I don't know. Um, usually what I would tell you would be uh, to fix this, I would go to the crop tool and then making sure that you have width times height times, times resolution, all right? You would type in um, eight, all right? And uh, you'll start to see the bounding box. And then I'm gonna hit tab so it comes over to the next area. That's 10, so that's 10 inches high. I'll hit tab. Now I'll type in 300. All right, so that's eight inches by 10 inches by 300 pixels per inch. Eight, the first number is the width. So you can see the bounding box, how it's, what it surrounds. So um, I'll hit enter and it's going to cut off that type, which you probably should redo anyway. Um, you can do it to fit, but uh, I'm just going to, um, you, can, you can move this around and position this the way you like it. So I would say something like that. Okay, and then you actually want to scale, I don't know. So let me hit, uh, click on this check mark here, and that will apply that transformation. All right, and now you can see here that the quality is, is just really bad. It actually blurred it out a little bit. So uh, I am going to ask you to do something very hard, which is to redo this. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's going to be a lot of extra work, but... There's, there's no way to improve this, the quality of this. It's going to look like this, all blurry, all right? And also, don't forget, what you need to do is, um, it means bringing, creating an 8-inch by 10-inch file that's 300 pixels per inch, and then bringing all these images in to that file. Okay, the original images, though, you can't bring these images in that have been messed out because they're, they've already been degraded, so to speak. Okay, um, you can, you basically would be scaling it up. So you can scale down, you could reduce, but you can't enlarge or scale up in a Photoshop file. That is basic rule of thumb. If you scale up, all these tiny little, if I scale it, zoom in really fast, really, you'll see all these little squares here. These are pixels. Each one of these squares is a pixel. So when you scale it up, it's, it's going to just break this, these pixels up and divide each pixel into, let's say, four or six increments, and it, it just will be blurry. It will never be clear again. All right, so um, I'm going to ask you to do that. By the time you redo all this, again, you'll be a pro using the layer masks. So um, this is a great image. You know, bring that image in. Um, I don't know what the original size was, but uh, um, make sure it's as large as possible when you bring it in because you don't want to scale it up too much. All right? And don't forget, you need adjustment layers and layers mask. So, um, so let's say I select this this violin. Uh, yeah, the violin. Okay. I'm going to go down here, click on the adjustment layer icon, and I'm going to select, let's just say, levels. All right. Now, I'm going to make this lighter. Right. Now, look what's happening. Everything in this whole file is getting lighter when I slide this histogram over. This is called a histogram. Okay, um, so what you want to do is only have it affect the underlying layer, just like 
in milestone three, task one, you brought in an image and had the image attached to, to your name. Okay, so a clipping mask affects the layer directly below it. All right, once you make that image uh, a clipping mask, it attached to all of the pixels of your name. All right, in this case, it's going to attach to the pixels of this underlying layer. All right, so I'm going to alt click here to make that a clipping mask. Now, when I do this, it only affects the violin or the underlying layer. All right. Then what you're going to do is any selection here, any thumbnail for any layer mask, just control click on it to make it a selection. Okay. Then go to select, save selection, uh, name it accordingly, guitar, and just hit OK. Okay. What you've done is, if you go to channels, is you save that selection as a guitar. That means later on you can load it, okay? So that's what you need to do, all right? You go back to RGB and then back to layers. All right, I hope that helped, and I'm sorry to give you this news, but, you know, you've got a very exciting thing going on here. Um, I want it to be a success, all right? Take care.